Hello there, my name is Akshay. I'm an F1 working in the emergency department at the Royal Cornwall Hospital in Truro. And today I'm going to be talking to you about nightstick fractures and their management at the Royal Cornwall. So first of all, what is a nightstick fracture? Well, a nightstick fracture is defined as an isolated fracture of the ulnar shaft. Now, there is a lot of debate surrounding the management of these fractures. There is a very strong literature base supporting non-operative management uh, for stable fractures, which are defined as those with a displacement of less than 50 degrees and angulation of less than 15 degrees. This is because in these fractures, the periosteum and interosseous membranes are largely intact. Therefore, these fractures heal quite well uh, without the need for surgical intervention. However, these fractures are associated with a high rate of complications, including non-union, delayed union, residual angulation, and significant loss of movement. Consequently, there is a clinician bias towards operative management. So what we decided to do is look at our own management of nightstick fractures to compare between operative and non-operative management to see if one is better than the other in terms of patient outcomes. So what we did is we retrospectively reviewed clinic letters and radiographs of 109 patients between 2015 and 2019 with suspected nightstick fractures. Of these patients, 19 were excluded due to loss to follow-up, pathological fractures, fractures associated with polytrauma, open fractures, bilateral injuries, and fractures being too distal. Of the remaining 90 patients, 67 were managed non-operatively and 23 were managed surgically. And the outcome measures we were looking for included radiological healing, recovery of function, and complications. Uh, this is an example of a nightstick fracture which is managed non-operatively. And this is an example of a very similar looking nightstick fracture which is managed with open reduction and internal fixation. Now, what we found is that the mean time to heal in weeks is very similar between both operative and non-operative groups, and the rate of complications is also similar between the two groups. Looking into the complications in a bit more detail, one can see that the majority of the complications within the non-operative group are due to non-union. So what conclusions can we draw from this? Well, we can say that the difference in mean time to healing is negligible between the two groups, and that the rate of complications is comparable between the two groups. Within the non-operative group, the most common complication is non-union. Of these 10 patients, five patients opted for surgery later. Within this smaller subset, only one patient had persistent non-union despite surgical intervention. Based on this analysis, therefore, what we can say is that the time to heal and rate of complications in patients with a simple non-displaced nightstick fracture is similar with or without surgery. We suggest, therefore, that non-operative treatment should be offered in the first instance. Patients should be counseled about potential complications if they prefer a surgical option. If there is a suggestion of non-union at six-week follow-up, surgery may be offered at this point. And speaking about the potential complications of surgical intervention, we thought it prudent to mention this, which is periprosthetic fractures, which are a complication of open reduction, which would require further internal fixation, as is demonstrated here. Thank you very much for your attention. That is the end of my presentation. And here is a list of all of my reference for any further reading. Thank you.